this is Morkbert here, and welcome to 2020, the start of a new decade. So, this is going to be the first video of the year. Uh, it's my phone collection as of January 2020. Um, I have 216 devices total, I counted before I started. And so, let's begin. And so, this is going to be like the November 2019 one where I just did it in parts. So let's get started. First is the uh, Kyocera Hydro. This one works totally fine. Next is my Motorola Moto E4. By the way, I did not charge these before I began, so a lot of them are probably going to be dead. This is my Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit. I love this phone a lot. If you haven't seen my unboxing video about it, go check that out. Uh, this has not gotten the Android 9 update yet, sadly. I'm still waiting for that. So it's still on Android 8. Now this is the newest, most recently acquired device in my collection. This is another Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. Now I have five of these. This was my mom's old phone. I gave her my Samsung Galaxy on 5 as a Christmas gift. So I no longer have that phone. Up next is a Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. This one also works fine. And then we have a similar phone, a Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime. Next is the HTC One S. This is my Samsung Galaxy S7, which you guys should know it does not work. I uh, bricked it. This is a uh, Moto G first generation. This one's water damaged. It does not work. This is a ZTE Prelude 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, this one, uh, this one does not work either. It is also bricked, but that's how I got it. Uh, this is my HTC One M8. This one works totally fine. This is my Samsung Galaxy J3 2016. This one does not work, it is also bricked. This is my iPhone 7. Uh, this one is FMI on and had a passcode. Yeah. Um, I heard about the new Chakra 1N bypass. If that's how you say it, check, or maybe check rain. Except it's a, a 1, but I, I may try that on this phone. I don't know if I'd be able to. I don't know if they've already patched it. Yeah, someone let me know if they've patched uh, the check rain. This is my LG K3. This one works totally fine. This is one of my two Samsung Galaxy S4s. This one works totally fine. This is my iPhone 5. It is iCloud locked. This is my Kyocera um, Hydro Reach. This one works but has uh, a partially busted screen. This is um, one of my two iPhone 4S's. This one has a bad screen. Yeah. I'm going to clear the notifications from all my phones. Okay, um, moving on, we have the Curio Touch 4S. This one does not work either, it has a busted screen. This is my Samsung Galaxy Express Prime, this one works. This is uh, my Samsung Galaxy Prevail LTE, this one does not work, it is water damaged. This is my Motorola Droid Turbo 2, this one works fine, but has a bad charging port. 
but I was able to get it to work by charging it wirelessly. I remember this thing was uh, Google locked and it was uh, really tough to bypass it, but I was able to do it after a day of trying. This is my main phone, my essential phone. I love this phone and it works really well. This is my iPod Touch first generation. Um, well, one of them at least, this one is bricked. My fault, of course. Um, this is my LG Optimus Dynamic 2. This one has a, a busted screen. These are two Trio Stealth G2 10.1 tablets. Uh, this one works totally fine, but this one has a partially busted screen. They are pretty cheap tablets. Not a fan of them. This is my Asus Transformer Pad TF300T. This one works fine, but I haven't been able to get it to charge. This is my second generation Google Nexus 7. This one works totally fine. Here's my working first generation Nexus 7. This one also works. Yeah, I, I think I just said it works twice. Uh, here's a, another first generation Nexus 7. This one does not work. And then this is my Amazon Fire 7, fifth generation. It works fine. This is one of my three iPhone 6s. This one is water damaged and FMI on. This is one of my two Samsung Galaxy S6s. This one works. This is my LG K20 Plus. This one works as well. This is one of my three Ematic E8 MP3 players. This one um, does not work. This is my Alcatel, uh, I think it's Alcatel Streak. This one does not work. This is my iPhone 5S. This one does not work. This is my ZTE Savvy. I think it is. Yeah, ZTE Savvy. This one works. This is my other Samsung Galaxy S4. This one works. This is my knockoff of an iPhone 4. This one, uh, to my knowledge, does not work. This is my Nexus 4. This one doesn't work either. When I plug it in, it just gives me a red light at the bottom. This is one of my three Samsung Galaxy S3s. This one has a bust damn LED. This is my iPod Classic 5th generation. This one has a dead hard drive. This is a, another Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This one works. This is my Moto E4 Plus. Uh, this one has a bad screen. This is my iPod Touch 5th generation. It is iCloud locked. This is my Samsung Galaxy Note 5, which I believe has a bad screen. This is my another Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This one works. Yeah, all of my Core Primes work. All five of them. This is my iPhone 6S Plus. This one is iCloud locked. This is my Samsung Galaxy S3. This one works but it is dead. This is my Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic. This one is also dead. This is another Samsung Galaxy S3. This one is also dead. This is an, my other Samsung Galaxy S6. This one works. This is my LG Sunset. This one also works. This is my LG Stylo 2. This one also works.
that is dead. This is my Samsung Galaxy Core, no, not Core Prime, Grand Prime. I have another one of these, but this one has a charge. This one's on Cricut. This is another Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This one works as well. This is my LG G3. This works. This is my Samsung Galaxy S5. This also works. This is another iPhone 6. This one, uh, yeah, this one is also FMI on. This is my Nexus 5. Yeah, it works totally fine, but it has a bad IMEI. Um, this is another Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. It works, but it doesn't have a battery in it. This is my last Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This one works. This is uh, another Samsung Galaxy S6. This one works as well. This is my, one of my two Droid Razor M's. This one works. This is my LG Optimus Fuel. This one works. This is my Samsung Galaxy Express 3. This works also. This is my TCL LX. There we go. This one works. This is my other Droid Razor M. This one works as well. This is one of my two HTC Droid Incredible 4G LTEs. This one doesn't have a battery in it, but it works. This is my Alcatel Pixie Unite. This works. This is my LG K30. This one works. This is my other HTC Droid Incredible 4G LTE. This one does work as well, but it is dead. Uh, this is my LG Logos. This one works. This is my ZTE Sonata 4G. This one works. Uh, it is dead. This is my Motorola Droid 2. This works. But I think it's dead. This is my Zebra TC510K. This one is untested. This is my iPod Touch 2nd generation. This one works. But it is dead. This is my LG Venice. This one works but it doesn't have a battery in it. This is my last iPhone 6. This one does work. But unfortunately it does not have a charge. This is my Samsung Mesmerize. Uh, this one doesn't have a battery in it. This is my Motorola Droid X2. It works. But I know for sure it is dead. This is my Samsung Droid Charge. This one uh, doesn't have a battery in it. This is another Ematic E8 MP3 player. This one works, but it's dead. And then this is my Samsung Behold 2, which is dead, but also works. Alright, so that is part one of my January 2020 phone collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, oops, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you in part two. Peace.